okay friends now we are solving different problems of genetics sorry now let us talk about some sex linked inheritance problems we have seen before what is sex linked inheritance now let us talk about sex, sex linked inheritance problems now in exam you may not have find uh, they may not tell you that about this problem is about sex linked or epistasis but you uh, need to identify the what kind of problem they are given by just reading the question and you may be able to because the questions are telling you all right like that this one now in cats a gene for coat color is sex linked so it is telling you that the linkage pattern you are going to follow is sex linked cats homozygous for the allele caps a have yellow color so homozygous for the allele caps a so here it's a, a coat color of cat this is sex linked okay now one who is homozygous for uh, the allele a have yellow coat so this is going to give you so in x so this one is going to be yellow those homozygous for allele cats homozygous for allele a have yellow coats those homozygous for allele small a have black coats so this is giving a black coat okay what type of offspring black coat and heterozygous have tortoise shell coats now heterozygous means say this one tortoise shell tortoise shell coat okay okay now what kind of offspring should you result from mating of black male and a tortoise shell female so they they have told us to make a cross between black male so black male and tortoise shell female okay so the ratio of offspring uh, is it possible to obtain a tortoise shell male so tortoise shell male is it possible or not they have asked, asked us so whatever now in this case remember one thing this is the sex linked inheritance and i have told you before sex linked inheritance are often deals with the x linked inheritance okay so x x is yellow x a. so in case of sex linked inheritance we can't just write that there is this this is homozygous so like that hetero, uh, this heterozygous like that we can't write it like this way we have to write it with x and y or x and y like this okay so we need to think about this very carefully now whenever we are talking about homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive homozygous dominant means both are a caps a recessive means both are small a now we need to look for girls right or female cats because we cannot have homozygous nature if we have a male cat because male cat is having only one x one y and this is going to be this gene is going to present in one chromosome only so if it is present in y chromosome then we can't have homozygous and heterozygous nature if it is present is only x chromosome so it should not be carried by any male right so it is eliminated so this is the first kind of thing you should do that this kind of trait cannot be traveled by the male because if we want to get homozygous dominant and recessive we need to have a female because in female we are having both the x okay now a black male means so say a male which is x y so this is going to be a black male because caps a is denoting the black now it is getting crossed with tortoise shell female so tortoise shell female means this is going to be the tortoise shell female and i write the cross in this way okay now if this is the cross then what is going to be the offspring so again the offspring production via this kind of linkage is done in this way so this x a is x a so x a x a this x a is uh, this x a so this x caps a x small a then x caps a with this y then x small a with this y so we, what we get is this offspring ratio so this is going to be a female so circulating the female with circles this is another female circles and two of them are, are male so this is a male this is another male 
So what is going to be the ratio? Now this one is homozygous dominant one. So it is giving us yellow coat. This is heterozygous. So means tortoise shell is giving us tortoise shell or TS. And this is a male giving a, have, having a caps A. That means it is giving us again. Oh sorry. Small A is going to be black, right? So it's a black male means Sorry, it's a black male means small a will be there. So the simple difference will be like that. So small a and y and then small a y a small x small x. This one going to be small x small a and this is going to be caps a sorry caps a y and small a y. Everything is fine now. Okay. So there was a mistake that black means small a, right? I have thought black means yellow. Well, anyways, so here uh, this is going to get give us caps a small a. So it is going to give us this caps a small a. So it's giving us uh, the tortoise shell, right? So it is going to be TS or tortoise shell. Now this is then small a, small a. Both are the next. So this is female and giving us small a, small a means black black coat. Now here we are having one caps A of X and one Y so it's a male and one caps A means it is yellow and one small A means it is black. So the ratio of getting the uh, phenotype of the offsprings two of them are black one female one male so the ratio is just by uh, the color so black is to yellow is to tortoise shape and the ratios are look at here two blacks one yellow, one tortoise shell. And this tortoise shell is female. It's not a male. Now the second question was whether we are going to get any tortoise shell male or not. The answer is no. We are getting only one tortoise, uh, tortoise shell and that is female. And two of them are black. One is male, one is female. And one is yellow. That is also male. Now this yellow is also male. Okay, so this is the simple explanation. Now there is a fumble there. Don't bother about that. The difference is that uh, that uh, this one, X A means black, so small a is black, obviously. So I have uh, forgot to write it. Anyways, this is going to be the sex link inheritance, and this is going to be the answer. Okay. So I hope this will help you. Thank you.